Kearney. How are you, Ronnie Graham? I'm very well, thank you. I'm Good, mate. On. No, geez, I better go and change my hat. Well, you should do that. Oh, mate. So now Ronnie's got the right hat on and we're going to go stand up here and we're going to have a bit of a yak. Tell me about the truck. Oh, it's a 1975. I'll see you next week anyway. W921S2. It was Coots' second kit on it. Brought it in. 92, restored it. Needs a bit of touching up again now so you get a bit old. But the V671 natural. Um, Which makes a bit of noise, doesn't it? <laughs> because I travel up with Ronnie to uh, uh, haul on a Hume in this and uh, I wish I'd taken earplugs with me <laughs> but she sounds good <laughs> now I took the 10 speed out put a 13 airbag the back mainly because I was breaking dishes in the kitchen the All right. van. yeah this is Ronnie's home behind the truck folks yeah. And, um, yeah she's been a really good horse to me yeah, yeah. always been a single drive yes yes yeah um, a lot shorter than that, it was a 144 inch wheelbase, now it's a uh, 180. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, got to put more toolboxes on the other side for me, a bit of gear. But no, we just travel when Jen's gone holidays. She can't get her out of the passenger seat and away we go. You know? Right, we'll just yeah. pause for a minute because uh, we're going to get drowned out. So, you basically live life on the road, don't you? And have, and have done for quite a while, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love it. Should have done it years ago. Yes, yeah. You did the trailer yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes. Give us a bit of the van. history on that. Um, 1973 furniture van. It was another 29 inches higher. The roof got cut down, the bead the front, and it cuts through the wind really good now. Uh, bedroom bathroom, kitchen dining, and the room here. Um, I've got a little Suzuki with me. So when I've got to pull up somewhere at a caravan park, we pull the Suzuki up and go explore. Let's go and have a look inside. Let's go. It's a little bit grubby at the moment. I'm selling me um, prize possessions and my model car. You've been, you've been downsizing for, uh, for uh, oh, years, haven't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the main kitchen when it's clean. Let's see if we can get a look around that. Yeah, and lots of storage up top. Yeah, story, that's all storage, yeah, around the top there. Car goes in the back. Half pie I'd need. Yeah, plenty of room for a Susie in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the Susie fits in just nice. Strap it down and away we go. We'll huh? take it out and you've got an entertainment area. Yeah. The yeah, lounge well, that's, room. That's the whole plan. When it's finished properly, this will be the lounge room. Probably hang a TV off the wall. Mm -hmm. So when you get to where you go and hook it on and you know, do whatever. Put a diesel heater in it. Best thing I've ever done. Keeps me nice and warm. Yes, I bet it does. Yeah. Um, the toilet there. Don't need to look in it, I don't. Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. And then... Uh, Up into the uh, master bedroom. Yeah, I've got a... A mate of mine, he was a, um, a kitchen hand, or a carpenter, and he, he was going to finish it all for me, or the two of us were going to get into it, but he had a stroke, and I'm just waiting him to get better, and you know, we'll, we'll finish all the interior off, you know. But the, all the basics are there, there's a thousand litres of drinking water under there, mm -hmm. pop the shower, yeah, hot water service, everything's off on solar. And mate, you stay, you stay warm and you stay dry. And... Yeah, yeah. Absolutely magnificent now, yeah. So how, how long have you been doing this? I built it to go to Alice in 2015. Okay. I brought the van, oh geez, probably 20 years ago. Um, and it was a slow process and then one day I was just sitting at Jen's place. <laughs> and um, she came home from school and she says, what are you doing? You're up to no good. And I said, I'm trying to get enough courage to go down in the bank and see if I can get a loan. So I got a loan and then um, Put it together to get that was in the April. Put it together to get to Alice in the um, um, August. And, okay. And um, I go up. I usually go up there for a couple of months and work up there. Just come back from Port Perry, Liz Martin's beautiful museum over in okay. Port Perry. Impressive. Uh, and sorry. Impressive. Oh, absolutely magnificent what she's done in such a short time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really, really good. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. So how's, how's how's the truck treated you, Ron? The truck. Yeah. 
really, really good. I've just got a little bit of an oil leak now. We had the motor out last year, swapped the 9 for a 13 speed. We'll walk outside yeah. and have and, a look um, at it again. I've got an oil leak there somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. It's in behind the bell housing somewhere, so we've got to pull the gearbox out again. Um, but otherwise, she's pretty filthy at the moment. We come up in the rain. I haven't had a chance to give it a bit of a tough. It's not the best of weekends, that's no, true. No, not really, no. But no, she's been a really good horse to me, you know. So I've had it now, what, nearly 30 years. She's nearly 48 years old. 48, 47, 47, 48, anyway. Mm. And uh, it's just what she is, you know. The road is your home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's um, what else you say? It's great, mate. But um, so I'll hope to do a lot more travel. We'll I'm hoping Jen will retire. We're going up to um, Mutton Barra. This time next year, oh no, this time next year we'll be back home. We're going up there for about eight, ten weeks. And then Jen will uh, have got a doctor's appointments for then. And uh, yeah, so that'll be a trip and a half. A little bit of luck I can get her to do a bit of driving. Hey Jen. Yeah. Put the old plates on. Yeah. No, so I tried it once before and uh, we're on our way home from Alice. And um, she drove from one end of the park and bay, which are about a kilometre long. Got all the gears right and I says, I looked out the back window and I says, right, there's nothing coming, just keep going. Bang, and Millie put me through the windscreen. She said, look, what if there's police out there? I says, if they're out there, they'd be lost too. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, keep on keeping on, enjoy the road. Yeah. And uh, I can think of a lot worse ways to retire. Thanks for your time, Ron. No, Good you on you, me. mate. Take care. Talk Take to you care, soon. Mate. Hey.